Hello everybody and welcome to my third and final edition of the Winter Thought series. I would like to begin today's discussion by taking a look at this bar graph. This chart is showing us the probability of either an El Niño, La Niña, or Enso neutral pattern for the winter months. The blue bars represent the probability of a La Niña season. As you can see, the bars decrease in size as we move into the winter time and beyond. At the same time, the probability of an Enso neutral increases. So what does that mean for the winter time? The La Nina phase is the weather pattern that has dominated the weather over the past couple of years. On average, the La Nina phase brings brutal cold and constant snow to the north, rainy and colder conditions to the northwest, and warm and dry weather for parts of the south. This year though, we may start out in the La Nina phase, before slowly transitioning into a neutral phase as we move closer to the spring of 2023. The neutral phase is a little different than a La Nina, with one of the bigger differences being wetter conditions for the south-central and southeastern United States. This weather pattern is the most favorable for southern snowfall and ice, because cold air from the north can meet up with moisture in the south. Now that we have reviewed how these weather patterns work, let's take a look at my latest personal prediction. I expect the La Nina phase to continue through the end of 2022 with a gradual and overall trend towards more of a weak La Nina or even Enso neutral by the second half of winter into the springtime. For the last portion of the video, let's take a look at my latest overall forecast. We begin in the Pacific Northwest, where we have a light green shade. This represents rainy and cool conditions, mainly because of the Pacific jet stream bringing storms on shore. The white area which covers the Cascades, Sierra Nevada Mountains, and the Rockies represents average mountain snowfall. We also have a big orange area across the southwestern United States, which represents an overall warm and dry winter. Extremely cold weather and heavy snow is likely across this region in the north-central United States, due to the jet stream allowing for very cold air to be in place. Further south, in this large purple area, you can expect cold weather for most of the wintertime, with snowy periods. For those who live in this tan region, you can expect a mild and dry winter, with periods of colder weather when the jet stream plunges south. The next area to talk about is the red shade, which represents lake effect snowfall. Lake effect snow will likely be a common occurrence this winter as very cold air moves over the Great Lakes. We also have this blue region, which extends from Texas and Oklahoma into the Carolinas and Virginia. This represents an area which may experience southern snowfall and ice, especially in the second half of winter. This will be possible due to the potential for a transition to an Enso neutral pattern which would bring amplified moisture to the south-central and southeastern United States. This red area from East Texas to the southeast represents severe weather, which will likely be associated with the warm side of winter storms. Lastly, this dark blue area that covers parts of the northeast is where I expect some nor'easters to occur, which can bring heavy snowfall, strong wind, and coastal flooding to the area. Thanks for watching my latest Winter Thoughts video. If you enjoyed be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one, which will be my first official winter forecast.